Hi everyone, Jim O'Brill here with Drive Chicago. Today we're taking a look at the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. It's been over 25 years since we've seen the Wagoneer nameplate on a new Jeep, but it is back for 2022 on one of two models known as either the Wagoneer or the Grand Wagoneer. Today we're going to focus on the Grand Wagoneer model, which is available in four different trim levels, known as the Series 1, Series 2, Obsidian, or Series 3. Under the hood of all these models is a 6.4 liter V8 engine paired to an 8-speed automatic that delivers 471 horsepower. The Grand Wagoneer offers a premium level of comfort and amenities inside while still maintaining Jeep's legendary 4x4 capabilities with features such as the select terrain management system or the quadrilift air suspension. Prices for the Grand Wagoneer start at $88,000 for the Series 1 model and can climb as high as $112,000 for a fully loaded Series 3 model. Let's hop in and take a closer look at the 2022 Grand Wagoneer. Now while the Grand Wagoneer is very much a Jeep, you won't find much Jeep branding on this vehicle. It generally focuses on the Wagoneer nameplate in front and back as well as on the side here. But if you look closely, you'll find different hints where it does say Jeep on the mirror. And again, in the headlight area, you've got signatures where it says Jeep here and around the back. But really the focus here is on the Wagoneer nameplate that has made a return this year. Up front, you'll notice the Grand Wagoneer has Jeep's iconic seven bar grille with Wagoneer spelled out across the top. It resembles the same face that you see on the new Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L. Now this model is the Series 1, so this is the entry level version, but it's still adorned with a, with a lot of chrome accents, giving it a very premium but rugged vibe. It comes with premium details such as chrome outlined windows, a roof rail, and a two-tone paint scheme that separates the roof line from the body with a black roof. That's kind of a cool feature and especially looks good on this uh, velvet red color here that we see on the Grand Wagoneer Series 1. Standard wheels on the Grand Wagoneer Series 1 are these 20-inch alloys, but different sizes and finishes are available in higher trim models. One thing that stands out on the exterior design of this vehicle is all the premium details that Jeep has put into it, such as Grand Wagoneer spelled out in individual letters that are at different levels to kind of give it some depth. You'll also notice the LED sequential lighting that is available both in the front and back. These have a really cool illumination feature that really stands out at night. In an effort to create a smooth, luxurious look, Jeep has given it power retractable side steps. When closed, they are black with a chrome accent that blends right into the lower portion of the body. These steps automatically fold down and up as you approach or exit the vehicle. Hopping inside, drivers will face a fully digital cluster that can be changed via buttons and controls on the steering wheel to optimize the view of whatever you want most prominent. The overall fit and finish inside this vehicle is top notch as Jeep has used finishes such as wood, chrome accents, and leather that all work together seamlessly to create a very premium space. They've also done things like create an ornamental dial knob for controlling the gears and use technology in some really interesting and neat ways, such as the wireless charger that would be hard to find if you didn't know to hit this button right here that makes this screen disappear and creates a hidden space for your phone. Another luxury amenity inside this vehicle are the available heated and massaging seats. This screen right here is where you can touch and control the different levels of massage for both the driver or passenger seats. At the center of the dash is a 12-inch multifunction touchscreen that integrates with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa wirelessly. Jeep worked closely with Macintosh to develop an entertainment system suitable for this vehicle with up to 23 speakers and a 1,375 watt sound system with a 12 inch subwoofer. An available 10.25 inch passenger interactive display offers a new level of engagement with a screen located just above the glove compartment and the ability to access navigation, cameras, and entertainment. A standard 360 degree surround view camera and available night vision with pedestrian and animal detection provides an all around visibility. The high res imagery and guidelines are prominently displayed on the digital screen with the ability to change views. Also available is a digital rear view mirror which utilizes a real time camera in the back hatch to offer an unobstructed view of what's behind you. 
Second row passengers get their own screen for controlling their own comfort levels, including the different temperatures, heated or ventilated seats. Everything can be controlled to their personal preference. I'm sitting in the third row of the Grand Wagoneer and have plenty of space to either side of me, plenty of legroom, even in the middle seat. And these seats can be adjusted here as well by touch, the touch of a button. It's easy to access back here through touching the button on the top of the second row seat that will fold it forward and provide easy entry or exit. This big, heavy SUV requires a big engine to get it moving, and the 6.4 liter V8 does that well. It delivers 471 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque. Upon starting it up, you'll hear the low tones rumbling from the V8 to remind you there is more to this SUV than luxury amenities inside. Acceleration is sufficient and the transmission shifts smoothly through the gears. Handling is responsive despite some expected body lean in harsher turns. It feels grounded and absorbs road imperfections well, providing an overall smooth and quiet ride with low road noise and a sophisticated composure. And it remains highly capable off-road. Four-wheel drive is standard with the Quadra Drive 2 system that includes a rear electronics limited slip differential. Also standard is a Quadra Lift air suspension that will adjust the ride height for various types of terrain. Minimum ground clearance is 8.3 inches and it can be raised as high as 10 inches enabling up to 2 feet of water fording capability. The select terrain management system can be controlled through the push of a toggle button located in the center console next to the gear selector. There are five modes known as rock, sand and mud, snow, auto, and sport. Fuel economy is the primary downfall of this SUV. When it arrived with a full 26.5 gallon tank, it offered around 370 miles of range and EPA estimates a combined rating of 15 miles per gallon. After a week of driving, I averaged 13.2 miles per gallon. These ratings are lower than some of the competitors. The revival of the Wagoneer name is welcomed in this all new premium SUV. The name will attract attention while the actual vehicle will stand fine on its own. As a competitor to staples like the Navigator and the Escalade, it offers something more with its off-road capabilities that will appeal to its targeted audience. The level of refinement and luxury is both impressive and comfortable. That's a wrap of my review of the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. This SUV certainly accommodated my family of five with no troubles, and the amenities like the heated massaging seats were certainly a nice bonus. Over my time in the week, I had a lot of compliments and a lot of thumbs up on the road driving the Grand Wagoneer. For the full review, visit drivechicago.com and be sure to subscribe below if you're looking for even more automotive content. Give us a follow on any of our social channels, including Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I'm Jim O'Brill with Drive Chicago. Thanks for watching.